Ron Scott here. Today I'm going to build a rig so that I can use my Kindle Fire as a teleprompter. Basically what I'm going to build is a box with a mirror in it at a 45 degree angle. Actually it'll be a partially silver mirror. And as you can see we've already got all our pieces cut out. Let me tell you a little bit about what the construction material is that I'm using. It's foam core. You can get this at any art supply store and it comes both in white and black. Here I'm using black because that way that'll minimize any internal reflections and you won't have to spray it black uh, like you would if you used wood or something else like that. Also, foam core is very easy to cut with an X-Acto knife. It's very easy to work with. We've also drilled holes in the bottom for uh, the mounting bracket that we're going to put on the bottom. That'll let us mount it on a stand or on a tripod. And we've also drilled a hole in the back of the box so we can uh, let our lens look through there and that'll block out any extraneous light. The first thing we need to do is to install some guides for our mirror that's going to go in the, in the box. Now, the reason I'm not gluing the mirror into the box is because if anything went wrong, you broke the piece of glass, you wanted to change out to a different reflectivity mirror, uh, you'd have a bear of a time getting that uh, mirror or glass out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little guides or little tracks that are going to go down from one end of the, uh, to the other. Now, I've seen some videos online and uh, about building these kinds of rigs, and one of the things that seems to perplex people is how to get an exact 45 degree angle. Some people suggested using a carpenter square, which that will certainly work. But the easiest way to get a 45 degree angle is just simply to measure equal distance on two sides and draw a line between the two. Now in this case, my box is square on either side. So it's seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So all I've got to do is lay my ruler down from one corner to the other. There we go, an exact 45 degree angle. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. That's the left side of the box. This is going to be the right side of the box. We'll do the same thing and bam, like that. All right, so now we've got our exact 45 degree angle. And the next thing that we're going to do is to mount these little guides that are going to let the mirror slide in and out of the box. Now, the way we're going to put everything together is with a hot glue gun. Again, hot glue works really good with porous materials and foam core is porous. So this makes it quick and simple to assemble it. And we're going to run a bead of hot glue down a strip like that. And we'll put this right there on the line. It's time to place the second strip. What I've done is, a, is grabbed a, a twist drill out of my drill kit that is a little bit larger. It's the next size up from an eighth of an inch, which is the thickness of the mirror glass that we've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that right down in the middle there, and that way when I push this up close to it, I won't get it too close that the glass won't slip in there. All right. So same, same procedure. We need a nice little strip of hot glue running down the track. Bam, like that. And now we just that up in there like that, just where it just touches the drill, right like that. And just go ahead and slide that drill out of there. There we go. Okay. There you have it. All right. And now we need to do the other side. Okay, so now we've got our two sides done. The next step is to glue the two sides of the box to the base. We've marked one edge with a little white X on there, and that's to indicate what we call the factory edge. That's the way the foam core came from the factory. That's the outer edge of the foam core as we bought it. That's going to be your smoothest and most accurate edge, and that'll make it a little bit easier to line this up and get it perfectly vertical. We're also going to use a carpenter square to make sure everything squares up real nice. Once again, a little glue down the edge. That. Set that over there. And we just put that so it just is right on the very outer edge of that box. Very good. 
And then we'll bring in our carpenter square and we'll just hold that like that until the glue sets up. All right. There you go. All right, now let's do the other edge over here. Again, we've marked the factory edge. That'll be the edge that's going to get the glue. And there we have the box with the two sides on it. The next step is to put the mirror in. The reason we're going to do that is that way we can put the top on, we'll be sure that we're not pinching the box too much. There we go. Of course, we're using the white gloves because we don't want to scratch that. This is our top. We've cut this top just a little bit narrower than the width of the box to leave just a little bit of a reveal back here so that we can slide the mirror in and out easily. All right, so need to run two beads of hot glue down the top here. And we put our top on, just like that. There we have it. Now I'm going to pull the mirror back out. This piece is going to go on like this. And you'll notice that we've got another little piece here. This little piece down here is what I call a stringer. And this is just going to be on there to kind of just stabilize the box a little bit further. That's really all that's about. And this piece we're going to put on with Velcro, just to make it easy to take it off. OK, so first things we do here is we're going to mark our edge there. And hot glue. And then we're going to go grab some Velcro, and we'll put that on there with Velcro, and then we'll be done. Now we're going to put the back on. We're going to attach it using Velcro hook and loop fasteners. First, we're going to put the loop part on the edge of the back of the box right there. So we'll put four of those on. There. So let's grab our hook part. Stick those on there. And our final one will go right there. Okay. So there. So we put that on there like that. That holds that on there. And that way the back doesn't fall off. But if you want to take the back off, it's easy to take the back off. Now you can shoot through with a telephoto lens if you want to get back farther from the teleprompter. And finally, before we put our mirror back in, we're going to attach this mounting plate to the bottom of the box. We've drilled and tapped out a quarter twenty hole in the middle. That'll allow us to attach it to a tripod. And we've drilled out two quarter inch holes on either end to allow us to mount it to the back of the box. We're going to use these little flat headed screws that we found at the hardware store and a fender washer, which we painted flat black on one side so it won't reflect on the inside. So we'll just run that up through there, like that. Drop our plate in there. We're going to have a lock washer and a wing nut. All right. And the other side. Again, we want to make sure that the flat black is on the inside. Drop on another lock washer and a wing nut. And now we have our little mounting bracket on the bottom. So that's ready to go. Only thing left to do is to put the glass back in it. So we'll do that next. Now we have our partially silvered mirror. We're going to remove it from its protective sleeve. And it's very important that you put the reflective side facing in towards the bottom of the box. Now it's sometimes kind of hard to see because this is, doesn't look like it's much of a mirror. And, and that's one the real advantage of it is that it doesn't uh, cut down on your exposure very much when you use it. I've marked the side that has the reflective coating on it. And so I'm going to put that in. Again, I'm going to put that down so that face is down towards the Kindle fire. And I'm going to slide that right into the box in those little tracks that I made there. So there you have it. That is our completed 
teleprompter rig. All we need to do is try it out. So how much did this rig cost? The foam core cost about $10. The hardware for the mounting plate cost about $3. And the aluminum stock I used for the plate itself cost about $3. The most expensive item was the partially silvered mirror, which cost about $70, including shipping. But it's well worth it. I tried building a rig with just plain glass, which does work, but it has two serious drawbacks. The text reflected in the glass will have a double image, which makes it hard to read. This is because the light reflects off both the front and back side of the glass. Secondly, plain glass does not play well with some LCD screens because it polarizes the light and depending on the orientation of your device, your screen may go blank. A partially silvered mirror avoids all of these problems. Here is a link to the site where I bought my mirror. I'm Ron Scott. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please like and share.